A is for Antep and Z is for Zing Got 24 more that'll grow in between They say the spice of life is variety That's why we're growing so hard on the alphabet of heat Letter E What's up everybody and welcome back to the Alphabet of Heat. My name is Boss, I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today we are on episode E, elephant pepper. This thing is awesome. So the elephant pepper is an annuum. Um, this happened to be the first fruit that started before I had even transplanted out of my basement. So the plant isn't that awesome looking right now. It's pretty small because it put out one fruit, put all of its energy into growing this beautiful looking pod and ripening it. But now that it's picked, I'm hoping I'll have time to get at least a couple more peppers off of this plant this year. This is not the same pepper as the elephant trunk, so there's that. Maybe next year's off a bit of heat. But the corking on this thing is just fantastic. That's part of where it gets its name from, obviously. It looks like an elephant's trunk uh, because of all the corking, but I'm told it's very mild. I've not eaten one of these yet. I'm really excited. This one I picked about three days ago, so it's just starting to soften up a little bit. So it's time to eat it and see how it tastes. But first, let's go take a quick look at that plant. So it already had that fruit on it, like I mentioned, and was looking sad when I went to transplant it. But with this video series, I really needed to make sure I got a harvest from each plant, so I left it. It ripened really fast outside. It took a few weeks. Um, so I harvested that, and then quickly thereafter, the plant really started to rebound. So it only took about two weeks or so to really start putting on new growth and filling back out. Did that for a little bit, made itself feel happy, and then of course it was ready to put on a second flush. Um, the second round of peppers are looking much gnarlier. They have a lot more corking, cooler shape, um, and now at the end of the season here, it's in the garage to finish up, but you can see this one is just an excellent example, I think. It's very straight. It's about eight inches long, really nice corking pattern there. Um, I was happy to see this grow. I can't wait for it to ripen. So like I said, it's not the best looking plant you've ever seen, but hopefully by the time this video actually comes out, that plant will have recovered and I'll be editing that part out and I'll be saying, look how good it did. It came back and put on a whole bunch more fruit. We'll see. But now the fun part. We got our trusty knife. In this case, I'm just gonna slice it right down the middle. looks great so it's full of seeds on the inside it's got a decent membrane going down the middle but again it's supposed to be fairly mild so I'm not expecting a ton of heat here it smells like it smells like a red bell pepper to be honest I'm expecting it to be sweet um, I am gonna scrape those seeds out as always because I want to be able to share them with y'all don't want to remove that membrane just because whatever heats there is going to be concentrated in that membrane. So I'll just kind of carefully use my knife here to help those seeds off. In this case, I want to make sure I get them all because it might be my only fruit for the season. I'll clean out the other half later unless I decide I need to eat it right away because it's so tasty. It's time for pepper facts. All right, so this is a capsicum annuum. It is originally from Kosovo. The fruits get to be about seven to nine inches long, and the Scoville heat units can be really anywhere from zero to a thousand. Um, it is not the same thing as the elephant's trunk pepper. That is more of a cayenne variety. This one is something very much different, and I'm hoping it's gonna be special. The important part now is, how does it taste? What's the texture? What's the heat? It smells real good, so. Wow. Very thick walled pepper. Didn't really look like it, but maybe thick wall is not the right word. It's meaty, dense. It does have a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat, not much. Flavor is not strong. Very mild sweetness, not overpowering. It's not super juicy per se, and again, I don't know, I mean, Maybe this would have been juicier two, three days ago when I first picked it. Um, but the density, it's moist, right? But the density of the flesh is what makes it a little bit different experience. It's more like chewing on an apple or a pear, probably more like a pear, 
than a traditional pepper. A little bit of sweetness though. Pretty mild flavor overall. Just an oomphy bit of that kind of grassy annual flavor that you would expect from like a bell pepper. It also tastes, this is gonna sound weird, but as I exhale, it tastes a little bit like oats, like a kind of a grain undertone on my breath and like at the back of my tongue. Almost like I just ate a bowl of Cheerios, if that makes sense. Very interesting flavor. I'm not sure what my go-to use for this pepper would be if I had more than just this one right now. I'd be tempted to try and fry it or maybe toss it on the grill or the smoker for a few minutes and see if it doesn't bring out a little bit of a different flavor once you start caramelizing it. But overall, pretty decent. Low heat, just beautiful pepper though, right? Cool texture, it's got a little bit more of a density to it. Like I said, I don't know a better way to explain it than most peppers do. Um, and a pretty unobtrusive flavor, so I don't think anybody would be mad at it, but I doubt anybody's gonna be like, that's the best pepper ever, because... But that's it for this episode of the Alphabet of Heat. If you enjoy this, make sure that you are subscribed, hit the bell so you won't miss an episode. We're going through all 26 letters of the alphabet from my garden this year, a pepper for each. I will see you next time, and remember, plants help us grow. Peace.